Hey guys, now welcome back. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to display values of variables. So then in the next tutorial, when I teach you guys a little bit more about variables, we can actually display those. So I'm going to I'm going to return a couple lines. And we're going to grab this printf function here. I'm just going to copy that, paste it above this comment line, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this string and reduce it to uh, a quick statement but before that we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of room and we're gonna declare a variable now I'm not gonna go in depth in this tutorial about variables that'll be the next preceding tutorials but I simply want you to put int which stands for integer if you remember from uh, the main function description and let's name this variable Jedi master alright notice how uh, I used an underscore there it would be improper if we just left a space. That wouldn't be a good, um, as you can see, an error variable name. So we're going to do an underscore. It could be you know, Jedi Master with a capital M so you can read it as if. And you know what? We'll leave it like that because I like that a little bit better. So declare your variable and uh, name that Jedi Master. Then what we're going to do down here is we're going to take that variable and we're going to assign, assign a value to it. So we're going to say equals 100. Now this can be written a few a few different ways, and I'll show you that once we get into the variable section. But what I want to get to is this printf function. Now that we've declared a variable and assigned a value to it, what I want you guys to do is write something like um, Jedi Master status. And then what I want you to do is put a percent %i. All right? And then... Uh, put a period and let's put a line break in here as well so we're gonna combine a few things that uh, we've learned so far then after the quotation mark so you see where my uh, cursor is I want you to put a comma and then we're gonna write Jedi Master alright so now you see that uh, this is highlighted yellow as well as these variables after we've declared it up there and now you're probably wondering why did we put a percent i why did we put the the variable name here and that's what I want to teach you guys here this is how we're gonna display our variable that we just created within our printf function so you guys can see the output so this percent i here is basically saying um, it's a placeholder for an integer so our programs running and it comes to this string and it says hey what what is this percent i this percent %i then proceeds with the, the, the next argument and it looks for what it is the Jedi Master integer that we've established above. So then it's going to interject whatever the variable value is, in this case 100, and so our statement is going to read, let's go ahead and run it, and after 54 milliseconds we get Jedi Master status 100. Maybe we should put something like equals 100 or something like that. Rerun that. Jedi Master status equals 100. So you can see that by simply notating or referencing, basically putting a placeholder in there, telling our program that, hey, we want to interject a uh, variable into this. That variable is going to be obviously the next argument. So that's going to be Jedi Master this looks up here to say hey what am I what uh, what's my value the value that we establish is 100 and that uh, matches up with the variable type with which is an integer which we'll get into the next tutorial but just showing you to get that onto the screen and display we gotta put a percent I now a couple different variations of that the D also works um, and I'll explain that in future tutorials You'll see that an F is going to be for another type of um, variable that we establish. So once you get to this point, you definitely can see how displaying variables is going to help us as we learn these different um, variable types and so on and so forth. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Glad you guys are still watching. See you later.